Hey, what's up, Square Bears? It's your girl, Chris, and welcome to Beauty MC Squared. So, yes, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I did my brows, y'all. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys so much for your compliments on my brows. I have to give it to the mighty G-O-D, G-O-D, for giving me the skills. <laughs> no, for real. Um, definitely thank God. Uh, thank God for the talent to at least draw a straight line and uh, giving me the humility to... Uh, see the mistakes that I have made with my eyebrows in the past and to improve upon that to to reach the status that I have right now. I know my brows be beasting. <laughs> that's not cockiness, that's just like, I, I love my brows as much as you guys do. And this is a long road that I had to <laughs> triumph to get to this point, to get, get my brows the way I like it. Out of all the makeup looks that I do on my face, I get probably the most consistent uh, compliments on my brows. And I strongly believe that w when your brows are done right, it frames the face. It's probably the most important part of any makeup application next to like prepping your skin, your actual skin prep before even putting the foundation on. But um, as far as the total look, I think the brows are so very important. So um, there's so many different options and techniques that are out here in the world wide web, YouTube, or in just the world of makeup artistry um, that kind of teaches us how you know, just different ways of doing your brows, framing your face, uh, creating that, that gorgeous sculpted brow look. I, for one, am not a person that is here to knock anyone's technique. Um, it's all about learning different options to get a, a specific result. Some people like really cute, neat brows. Some people like beasting ass, glamorous brows. Uh, some people want those brows, it's like, damn, like, who did your brows? And some people kind of like, your brows are so neat. <laughs> There's room for everyone out here. With that being said, I'm definitely adopting, uh, I have definitely adopted the technique that I have grown to love and perfect. And, um, and that is the concealer technique. Yes, I am the concealer. But not only concealer, let's not get it confused. It's not just, it's not the concealer technique. It is the purpose behind the concealer's uh, technique. The purpose, um, what I gathered through many, many years of trial and error, the purpose of the concealer technique is to simply clean up the brow shape that you've created, okay? So you can use concealer, number one, um, or you can use a Q-tip, or you can use foundation, or you can use your eyeshadow base to do all the same thing. So it's nothing wrong with the technique. Where the differences come into is someone's inability or ability to successfully execute that technique. So here are the, the bad parts of the concealer technique. Some people use concealer that is way too light, definitely not uh, need it. You don't need a super light concealer. Um, a concealer that's more or less your skin tone is probably the best because all you're really doing is, is cleaning up that area. Um, if you do want to highlight the brow bone area as well as clean it up, maybe a half shade lighter than your skin tone will do the trick. Um, keeping the concealer method confined to really under the eye area and leaving the above eye area alone it is probably the best way to, to execute the concealer trick and to make it look as natural as possible. So um, again, it's not the technique, it's, it's how well someone um, does or does not execute it that makes it kind of questionable. I'm, I'm just here to uh, relish and the fact that there's so much free knowledge out here in YouTube, and um, I'm so blessed to be, I'm so blessed to, to be put in a position to share this same knowledge with you guys. I hope you guys appreciate this technique. Let's keep the love, let's keep the positivity flowing, and let's get on to my brow tutorial, okay? All right, you guys, so this is how we're going to get it rocking on with the brows. Starting off with my clean brow, what I typically do is I want to make sure that it, it's at least well grown now. I kind of went a little crazy with the plucking this time, but it's okay. It's hair. It'll grow back. Um, but I'm just going to brush all the hairs in place just using a spoolie. Sometimes I use a tinted brow gel, something that's a little bit lighter than my natural brows or what I want my brows to be to kind of help tame it. You can definitely use a clear brow gel to do that. You can 
can use like a brow wax just to kind of help you tame any unruly hairs and, and get that together now to actually create the shape of the brows and, and to fill it out and fill it in I'm just going to use this brown eyeliner pencil that I got from NYX and it's actually a brow pencil um, it's a part of their collection uh, their new collection it's pretty decent um, I like it it's okay and what I'm doing right here is I am creating the kind of the baseline shape of the lower brow area so we're working within that shape um, just find a shape that is perfect for your eye shape um, if it's almondy something that is nice and full and natural that's what I did um, I also connected the tail in at the top of the brow you saw what I was doing I, I kind of talk over myself um, but with the same brow pencil I am just gently filling in the brows at this time just to kind of give me something visual to go by this is the thickness of the brow that I want this is the density of the brow that I want. So now I'm just going to go back with the spoolie and I'm just going to kind of dis distribute or dis yeah, distribute the product all over the brow just to make sure it's nice and filled in as naturally as possible. And I'm just using this darker tinted brow gel. And really, I applied it on my angled brow brush because it's a little better to control. And it's, um, like I said, a, a dark tinted brow gel. And I use that to kind of fill in any sparseness to the brows after I use the initial pencil. Now, for most people's brows or for some people's brows, that step is not really necessary. But as you saw at the beginning, I was dealing with little to no brows and I'm trying to get it as full and dense as possible. Now, here is the concealer. The concealer is going to clean up that line for me because as you can see, my brows were looking a little furry. They were the density that I wanted. It was the shape that I wanted, but I want it to be clean as well so that's what the concealer did I didn't blend out the concealer completely totally um, but I think for demonstrational purposes you guys kind of get the point but that is typically what I do to fill out my brows now okay so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope you learned a lot from this make sure to thumbs up this video spread the word like it you know what to do and thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing to this channel I'll see you in the next video square bears bye